Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. As always, it's your girl here, Daniela, aka Four Lizard. And today, I decided that I'm gonna shop my sticker stash to set up my happy planner for the upcoming week, December the 6th through the 13th, I believe. And yeah, I think shopping your stash is a great way to revisit old sticker books, sticker books you haven't used in a while yet, and it helps orient yourself to, um, to how you want to decorate and set up your planner. So if you're interested in seeing how I shop my sticker stash and how I set up my planner for the upcoming week, just keep on watching. So I am hoping beyond hope that the lighting is okay. I moved houses and so I completely changed my setup. I no longer film outdoors. It's just going to be a little bit more of a hassle to film outdoors here at my new place. And so I'm filming in my room, which I have filmed indoors before, but I always feel like the lighting is a bit off. I actually went ahead and ordered one of those over ring lights so you can see like the, the, like the right ring shape here. <laughs> that always bugs me is when you can see the ring shape in like the planner cover. Um, but you know, it is what it is. But I'm hoping beyond hope that the lighting is okay because uh, if you film YouTube videos, you know how frustrating it is to get the perfect lighting. So please let me know how this lighting is for you watching this and yeah, help a girl out. So this is my mega happy planner. I believe I have 10 sections in here. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I have nine. I have nine different sections in, uh, nine different planners in this baby right here. And um, it always takes me a minute <laughs> to set up the planner for the week because I have so many sections in here. It is possible though, it is doable, as long as you dedicate the time to do it, you're passionate about it, you find that it helps you in some way, and if you're organized about it. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today in this video is a process that I take to set up my mega happy planner. So I have a bunch of stickers here. And I also have a bunch of stickers in this little basket. This is actually like a drawer in a rolling cart. I have like a wicker rolling cart and this is one of the drawers in it. I keep all of my sticker books in this drawer here. I have, you know, an absurd amount of sticker books in here. And I also have these guys that are just sitting out here. And how I tend to decorate or plan in my planner, decorate my planner is, um, let me get this kind of centered, is I will pick like a sticker book per planner for the week and then just um, use that sticker book for that section. So for example, um, this is the first planner in my planner solar system. This is a skinny mini planner. It's the wildflower planner. I use this to write a prayer every single day and I t just pick a sticker book um, and then I decorate the week with that sticker book and I call it good. So this sticker book, let me see if I can find it here. Um, all these stickers come from this sticker book. This is the Craft Smart Sweet Sunshine Hot Buy sticker book. You can get these at Michael's. They're really cute and kawaii. Um, really bright and fun. So I just picked the sticker book for this week, decorated, had fun with it. I don't think too hard about, you know, whether it's the perfect sticker layout, design aesthetic. I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in using it for the purpose that I chose to use it for and that it is providing value to my life. Even if I just decorate, and I don't even write in it, like the act of decorating itself is like a form of creativity and artistic expression. So, you know, you do you. But 
anyways so this is the upcoming week the 6th through the 12th and i'm gonna go ahead and decide um what sticker book i want to use for this week here so i'm gonna pull into my sticker book stash and let's see all right that took forever but i decided that i'm going to be using this little sticker book this is not a happy punter sticker book obviously this is a snoopy and his friends sticker book i got this from uh, um a bookstore in little tokyo in los angeles and it's just a bunch of snoopy stickers really really adorable and cute and these are small too so they're kind of like perfect for the skinny mini size so i'm going to go ahead and use these babies for this week and so i'm going to just put this to the side here and then that way as the week progresses i can reach for those sticker books whenever i want to add stickers to the spread because the way that i plan i don't you know make my spread full of stickers and scrapbook paper and whatever i want to decorate with i don't make it and then just write in it you know what i mean like i will decorate it and then throughout the week i'll continue to write in it add stickers and then i feel like when i set up the original like planner spread i've only done maybe like 60 to 70 percent if that of the decoration that I'm going to be continuing to add on to the pages and we're going to move on to the next section which is this section right here I've separated it from everything else with this Christmas scrapbook paper and actually I need to add a paper clip to the bottom of this scrapbook paper because it keeps on wanting to fall off here so there we go Kind of tuck that there. Tuck that there. Okay, and then it goes straight into this is the current week here. And then I need to do my monthly overview for my academic section. This is my academic section, by the way. And I use a Mickey Mouse undated planner for this. And I recently decided that for my academic section, I'm going to focus on using my Mickey Mouse stickers. Um, so this is like a little pack of Mickey Mouse stickers that I put together. Um, I have four different uh, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse sticker packs in here from the Happy Planner. Um, these were the first four mickey and mini stickers that they released and i love them so much i picked them up as soon as they came out because i they're just so adorable and um because this is a mickey mouse planner i thought it would be perfect to just use mickey mouse stickers in here and i really want to you know get a lot of use out of these mickey mouse stickers because i have so many and i think it'd be a great um a great way to kind of like use the stickers as well as the planner kind of in combination so i'm going to be using my mickey mouse stickers for this and as well as for the um the monthly and as you can see last week i uh i used my mickey mouse stickers and i really liked how this one turned out so i'm going to add this pack of mickey mouse stickers to my sticker pack this week and then let's move on to the next section. So my next section is my internship section. I have an internship with the graduate division at UC San Diego. It's a part-time job. And this was the spread this past week. And then this is the upcoming week here. This is a color block vertical style happy planner. And let's decide what I want to use. So for my internship section, I'm actually going to use a sticker book that is new to my collection. I just picked this up over Black Friday. This is a Happy Plans sticker book and it was released um, a while ago now, but it's one of their newer ones, I would say. And it's so beautiful. It's very functional. There's lots of boxes, lots of like um, bullet points lots of functional reminder stickers and it has some quotes though it has a couple of decorative stickers but it's mostly functional and it's a very light colors a pastel color palette 
I think with the pastel color palette of the sticker book, I think the spread will look very professional, very clean and organized. And I want that for this because this is, you know, a, a professional position. And so I do want to kind of like reflect that in my spreads here. So happy plans for this color block um, for my internship. So moving on to the next section here, I have some scrapbook dividers uh, separating the previous section from this section. This is my social justice section and I use a vertical style happy planner for this section. This is where I keep all the work that I do that's my community service work, my social justice work, um, my outreach work. It's all stuff that I do not get paid for, but that is important for me to participate in. Um, and for this planner, I like to use like colorful leopard and kind of like heart and hustle sticker books. So I have these two here. Um, I, for some reason in this section, I've just kind of dedicated myself to using colorful leopard and I've almost finished this entire sticker book because I've used it so much. I only have like 10 pages left and a couple of stickers per page. So I'm gonna focus on continuing to use this until I've finished it completely. This was a great sticker book. I also finished, um, what's that other one called? The one that was, I think it was called Wild Chic, maybe? There was like a leopard one before this one that the Happy Planner released. Um, but I had finished that one before I finished, before I, got into this one and then this one from recollections kind of has that same like color story it's a little bit brighter but it's still got that same like leopard print um boss babe type of aesthetic to it so i'm also using this one in combination with colorful leopard especially since um i'm almost done with colorful leopard and there's not much not many stickers left to make a full complete spread so i'm using these two in combination for this section so i'm gonna go ahead and add those to my sticker pack my sticker pile here of stickers to use for the upcoming week so there we go that's a vertical style and then my next section is my world news section. This is where I just um, journal about things that I read, um, like articles I read, news I listen to, and it helps me to stay on top of current events and stay informed. And I've been struggling with this section because I feel like it's very hard for me to have like a cohesive spread. So that's why I've decided to like do this shop my stash um video because that way i can just kind of like pick a sticker book and then stick to that sticker book to um to decorate the spread here as you can see i, I was really really random um this week with stickers and for this section i think i'm gonna pull for this sticker pack I actually um, deconstructed the sticker book that it was originally and put it on these rings, but this is actually a Recollections sticker book. It's one of those that looks like this, um, but I think it was discontinued a while back. This is a bit of an older one. I think this one was called The Brights, and it's just a bunch of really colorful, bright stickers. There's quotes, there's washi, there's bullet points, checklists, um, yeah, decorative stickers, circle stickers. Yeah, there's all kinds of stickers in this book, and I think I am gonna use this one for this section, and um, yeah, so. I'm gonna put this one in my pile. I kind of want to like focus on finishing that one next year as well. So it'll be a good way to start getting some major use in it. So that is my world events section. And this is um, a lined vertical, obviously. And it's from the Colorful Left Bird lined vertical planner. And then for my next section, this is my fitness section. I use a Rong Grong fitness planner. And I have been just kind of being a bit random with this section so far. Um, I tend to use my fitness stickers. So I have 
this um, Happy Planner fitness uh, sticker book, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it, actually. There's about half of it left. I've already used like half. So I tend to use this sticker book, but I also tend to like play around with um, other stickers in here as well. So I'm going to pick a sticker book to use in combination with the fitness one because that way um, I can have a little bit more of a decorative aspect to the spread. So let me see if there's one here that I can pull for. All right, I'm gonna pick this one. This is a recollection sticker book. It's very decorative and this one's all about like supernatural creatures. There's unicorns, there's narwhals, and uh, yeah, I feel like this is just unicorns. <laughs> it's a unicorn sticker book, but I guess narwhals count as unicorns of the sea. So this one's very decorative, so I think it'll be a good match with the fitness because the fitness is very functional. So I'm going to use these together for this um, particular um, week. And then we can move on to our next section. And this section needs a little bit of a paper clip here. Where's my paper clip bag? Okay, let's clip that down. Awesome. And then this is a dashboard. It's from the Desert Dreams dashboard planner. So that's this prep planner that I'm using the cover for. And this was the current week. And actually, I did do this and I did this. So I'm happy to have gotten those done with. Uh, awesome. And then for the upcoming week, I think I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use horizontal layout. I've been kind of hoarding the sticker book for a while now. I finished up an entire horizontal layout sticker book last year and I, it was one of the sticker books I most enjoyed, and so I saw that these were on clearance a while back for five dollars, and so I picked up this sticker book, and I've kind of started using it actually already, um, but most of it is still intact. So I'm going to go ahead and use this horizontal layout sticker book for this week. And then let's move on to the next planner section. So this is my garden section. I'm so happy to be finally back into this uh, section. And I always use um, my gardening sticker books from the Happy Planner. And I actually have them in this sticker pack here, or this like deconstructed sticker pack. And I actually, I might just pull these off the rings and put them in another one because it always throws me off that they're in they're like on my um fall sticker pack so i made this uh like sticker pack to collect all of my fall themed stickers in here and i ended up using up all of them and so i don't have any more and so i put my garden stickers in here to kind of put them on rings but it throws me off that it's like fall themed. So I actually have this guy here um, that's kind of like more of a neutral sticker pack. So I'm gonna put them on these rings. That way it stops confusing me. But these are the remnants of two sticker books from the Happy Planner, the Don't Stop Growing sticker book and the Mm, I forget what it's called. Garden Flower sticker book, I think. They're both like garden themed sticker books. And I've gone through most of them. I only have like the very last like tidbits of stickers from both of those books. When I finish these two sticker books, I'm going to go ahead and I think pick up the Plant Mama sticker book from the Happy Planner. But yeah, I'm going to continue to use these stickers until they're completely done. 
and um, yeah, so this is the upcoming week here, and because this is my garden planner, it makes sense to use like gardening stickers in here. I don't really have the urge to use any other type of sticker in here besides gardening stickers. So then lastly, this is my budget section here. I just have a divider here, and then I just have some budget stickers on the back here that I'm trying to get through. And this is the monthly overview, the December divider, and then this is the monthly calendar view of my budget calendar. I kind of track all my bills on here. And I don't really decorate this section that much. It's very functional for me. Um, but I do have um, my budget my budget book where is it let me pull it out this is one of the older budget sticker books from the happy planner and i'm just gonna put this out um, with my pile of stickers that i'm gonna use this week just so in case i feel the need to like pull for any of these i'll have it there there we go and those are the sticker books that I'm going to be using to decorate my Happy Planner this coming week. So let me know what you think. So I'm really excited to be getting back into my Happy Planner um, this coming week. I feel like this coming week is going to finally be the first week that I'm fully like present in my Happy Planner again after a month or so of taking a break after my move from my old house to my new house. Um, it def that move was such like such a time consuming event and you know everything that goes into moving to a new house um, it just seemed to like drag on and on and on and there's always like something every single day that I needed to be doing that took up time um, to like make sure that transition finished smoothly. Anyways, I hope you're doing wonderfully. Let me know what's up in the comments down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.